A very good afternoon and welcome to this edition of uh, Inside the Sports. Uh, plenty, plenty happening in the world of uh, rally. And yes, we are uh, still in uh, Nakuru County, Naivasha to be specific. And uh, this uh, is uh, Geothermal where a lot of people are talking about a rally and yes some action will be coming this side in some few minutes and at geothermal where we are located actually a lot of people are talking about olkaria i know not very far from health get if you've been able to come to this end and a lot of people always say tourism 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 and when you spice it with a little bit action when you think about sports then it will always be as enticing as it can be so the power station actually here where we are located is in Olkaria, uh, approximately 100 kilometers uh, uh, if you're using a road to this uh, side from Nakuru uh, town to be specific. And I know we're talking about a rally and what the drivers have been able to do and what they are doing. At the same time, maybe we will think about uh, power and uh, as a country generating power, I know a conversation that we've been following with a lot of keen interest just to see if we can have enough, if we can be able to generate more or what exactly can be able to be done so that we say blackout maybe can become a thing of the past but think about power and think about a rally let me just go to the live standing just to check what exactly is happening and which drivers have been able to uh, carry the day at this particular ta time because uh, we can see uh rovan pera actually uh Kale is on position one remember for him a very very a young talent one which has said that again he wants to win this title he wants to defend the title now the question is will that become a reality it can happen it might not happen because others are falling remember last edition it was toyota one two three and four what exactly will happen this time out hyundai doing some chase work there they're also trying to see if this time out they will be able to lift it but others are also talking about uh, ford and the fiesta the end series that we're having out uh, there plenty plenty of action and we will be able to see what exactly might be able to happen now let me take you to the action that we had in day one and just uh, see some of the highlights because the drivers actually were all out uh, trying as much as possible to get uh, that uh, kind of action and while at it we know what transpired we know how the day ended and these are the highlights that we had in day one Separated by 25 points in the title race, they were split by just three tenths of a second on the opening super special stage. It's going to be a new challenge this year, a bit different from last year. More rough, definitely. So let's try to do the same than last year. We just need to be steady and uh, keep a good pace. And at least now the start was better on the first stage. It's a tough event. And um, nobody knows what's going to happen. So it's going to be a big surprise. There will be ups and downs for all of us during the weekend, but hopefully more ups than downs. But it was Oitalak that took the early rally lead. Third in the championship, laying down the gauntlet with the fastest time overall. Outpacing Elvin Evans by 3.3 seconds and refusing to make any predictions for the epic adventure that lies ahead. Obviously it's a demanding one, so let's see after Saturday, I would say this day will tell us a lot. Seb Ogier, winner here in 2021, was flat out from the start. Oh, Ogier, why there? He was just a tenth of a second slower than Tanak after beating Kenya debutante Esapeka Lapi by 3.9 seconds. I'm counting on some Kenyan god this weekend to help me. Luck will be needed. I mean, so far this season, I'm, I must be happy with my performance. I've been fast on every rally and uh, missed a bit of fortune in the last two. Or so, like I say, this one, we try to be clever, but uh, not everything is in on. In WRC2, Oliver Solberg stormed to the fastest time by 3.7 seconds, ahead of last year's winner, Kajetan Kajetanovic. The Swede ending the opener in a positive mood, despite not being eligible for championship points this weekend. The car looks like a proper safari car, it's good for spectators, it's good for fans, so that is cool. And yeah, it's going to be a tough, long weekend, so we're just going to need to be uh, smart and uh, yeah, we'll see. So Tanak fastest from Ogier, Rovenpera and Nerville. Elvin Evans fifth, ahead of Lappi and Taka Katsuta. Danny Sordo lies eighth, with Pierre-Louis Loubet ninth on his safari debut. And Solberg rounding out the top ten, on what was just a taster for the real drama to follow over the next three incredible days in Kenya. 
drama, drama, and more drama. Yes, that is what we had uh, in uh, day one. Uh, day two, action and more action. Uh, no, uh, the leadership actually has just uh, changed. I was talking about uh, Rovan Perra leading. Now uh, Oje has just uh, gone on position one. I know it is a CISO kind of unfair. It changes, it changes, but all in all, these uh, drivers know what they're doing. I know a number of them are talking about experience, but others are saying they are the young lads who wants to make a huge statement. Now, will, again, Rovan Perra go up and maybe have what it takes to take the car back home and with that maybe finish on position one? You really can't tell too early uh, because maybe even at this particular place, others are saying they hope uh, the heavens might open and uh, it might uh, pour, so it might uh, get muddy. Maybe that is what some of us want to see, but we really can't tell. But let's listen in what uh, Rovan Perra had to say and also uh, Calais because of them trying, trying and trying. They're optimistic that action will continue to be as spicy as it should be. And also they want to see if they will hold it and go all out and be able to lift the cup this time out. Championship leader on the left, Thierry Neuville on the right. I think the Belgian just about edged that start line. It's, uh, yeah, I think that's a very good start from the I-20. But yeah, well, a world champion against uh, the man who's uh, second in the championship race. How many times has Thierry finished as runner-up over the years? But uh, he'll hope maybe, just maybe, this can be his year. But he's got to stop the likes of this man and... Uh, Crucially, I think, for the chasing pack, I think this year, we're 25 points up. Last year, I think it was 65 points. That's the yeah. difference between the competitiveness compared to last year. But I guess psychologically, knowing that you've won here, I mean, it can make such a difference. I mean, you know what can go wrong, but uh, at least he's made it through the first quarter on Yeah, I guess so last year he had a huge moment, and he... Right up on two wheels and got round that now. He was pretty wide at that same corner where Ogier pulled up a rock, but uh, not quite clipping the bank as uh, his teammate did. Of course, starting first on the road tomorrow, is that as much of a disadvantage here in Kenya? It, 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 it's not as clear cut as what it is like on a European rally because. You know, we know on those fast, loose gravel roads on a European event that it is a disadvantage starting first on the road. Here, it depends where it rains, or if it's rained overnight. Uh, you know, we were in it. We were in. Uh, we were in yesterday stage. What is going to be stage 15 and 18? And it, there was not a bit of dust there. There were some damp patches. I was in there on Monday, and it was just full, full dust. You know, it just changes so quickly. To a neighbor, Robin Power, 3.8 down. Yeah, neither of them matching uh, the uh, OJ Tanak sort of pace. Newville, 5.9 down there. Yeah, I, 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 when we were at lunch just before, yeah, we did a quick kind of whip round the table of who's going to be fastest. I was like, ah, Neville, super special specialist. Yeah. It's five seconds off now. Yeah, I don't know. That's, it shouldn't be. It should be the same because obviously there is, like any of these sort of head-to-head -head, uh, loops, there is uh, one sort of quicker edge, but you'd have thought that should match at, uh, what is it, 2.4 kilometres, but that does seem like a lot to be losing at that, that stage for Thierry. Winner last time out in Sardinia. Come tomorrow, we might have split times where people are losing like 20 or 30 seconds and we're like, oh, what's going on? Is there a drama? Is there a drama? And then we're like, no, no, just making sure I'm all okay. I mean, look at that shot above. He nice. Oh, we hit the bank quite hard there, didn't we? Yeah. It's fine, but we hit the bank quite hard. So the current benchmark is still Itanaka 314.3. Let's see if either of these two can come close. Thierry. They're all going down the yeah. right-hand side of it now. Got a bit of mud down the side of your car, yes. <laughs> there we One go, thing you're going to have to make sure it works properly is your heated screen and your windscreen wipers. Pretty evenly matched, just three tenths of a second between them with Robin Perra winning that head-to-head -head battle, but it is a stage-winning start for M Sports. Oi, Tanak then here at the 70th anniversary Safari Rally Kenya, but uh, last year's winner, Calais looking as calm and collected as ever. Calais, 
victorious here last year, so you know what it takes to win the safari. Uh, what is the stages looking like to be able to do it again? Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a new challenge this year, a bit different from last year. More rough, definitely. So let's try to do the same than last year. We just need to be steady and uh, keep a good pace. And at least now the start was better on the first day. So there is a lot that uh, is uh, happening uh, there. I know I will be engaging uh, some of the rally fans uh, who are here. But before that, let me take you to Lewa Marathon because we have uh, plenty of excitement conversation also coming from that uh, corner. And a number of people are saying that uh, this uh, time out, they will try and try as much as possible to see again the people who will be running in Lewa. They will be doing it for a proper cause. Let's uh, check out what exactly has been happening